let's go. Maseches Bov Metzia Daf Tes Amud Beis Beis Olz Hashem After Tisha Beov We are Daf Tes Amud Beis We are going back a little bit because we had a big break of three days that's more than normal and therefore let's restart from the Mishnah that we have seen before but let's see it again We also have some diagrams in the back to help us courtesy of Tzvi the whiteboard not the pictures. Ule Ilu Nishmas Rus was Sholom Sobas Moishe Lerefuas Nina Chayabas Gola Rocha Norman Crowler, the Stamosh Mel of Roman Yudis Yudis Basrif, Toruv and Yakov and Goldest, the Gabriel Batsoch and Abbasim, I stop from Masushan Alpha. Tokshar Holy Soul says the Hailing of Mishnah, restarting the Mishnah. As an introduction, I want to tell you the issue today, the topic today is nice to see everyone so nicely, uh, you know, shaved and uh, with a nice haircut, yeah, except for me. Now, uh, let's start the Mishnah. The topic is, can a person be zoiche, can a person acquire a metzia on behalf of his friend, even though his friend never sent him to get the metzia for him? Yeah, that's a question. In other words, if I'm in the street and there are potentially, you know, 25 people in the street, 100 people in the street, all of them are eligible to get the metzia, to be zoiche in the metzia, to acquire the metzia. And I think I'm doing someone a favor, my friend is not in the, is not in the, what's his name in the street right now, but on his behalf, I want to be Zoyche in the Metzia. In other words, he never sent me to be Zoyche. I say, I want to be doing Zoyche Lodom Shalot Bechonov because I, yeah, I can get a person to gain something without his knowledge, without his consent, if it's good for him. So on one hand, you can say, why not? That's great. That's an amazing idea. On the other hand, you can say, no, it's not such a great idea. Why? Because you want to be zoiche and do something good for Mr. Reuven, who's now sleeping at home, sleeping late in Benazmanim, and you are now zoiche for him. But this way, you are making everybody else lose. You're zoiche to him, but you're chav l'acherim. Yeah, you're zoiche to one, but mokem shechav l'achrini. You're causing loss to the other people. Who are you? If you're appointed by him, it's mechlokes v'shoinim. If you appointed, you made you shliach, then what? Then Rashi says, okay, you're his long arm. You're the long arm of what? Of Mr. Reuven. Then just like Reuven can be here, Reuven sent a messenger. But if you say that you're just trying to be zoiche for Reuven with the idea of, yeah, why, why can I make someone win and make someone get his chus? Yeah. On the other end, you can say, but you're making everybody else lose. Who are you? Who are you who are not even gaining it for yourself to cause loss to other people? By picking it for Uven and therefore taking it away from Shimon Levi Yehuda, Betzalel, and Prince Abelo. That's the idea. Now, there are those who say, yes, you can, and soon we'll see why, right? And that's the Shiloh. Says the Mishnah, person is riding on the donkey or on a horse, whatever you want. He saw the Metzia, he saw such a beautiful gold watch lying in the street, just waiting for him to pick it up, but it's too hard for him to dismount to get off the horse. And he's too lazy to do that. Bomer Lachabero, he tells his friend, This is Reuben the rider and Shimon the Shmata. So Reuben the rider tells Shimon the Shmata, Tanali, give it to me. Give me that gold watch, the Tolo. So now Shimon took the gold watch, the Omar, and he right away said, I had in mind to get it for myself. Ha 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 ha. You think that I'm doing it for you? No, I'm doing it for myself. Then Zoho, oh, who got it? Shimon. So Shimon had in mind to be Zohar himself. So Shimon has in mind to, therefore, it belongs to Shimon. He had never had Kavana to do anything else. Look at my little uh, cartoon over here. The first understanding of the Mishnah, which also be the last one, at the beginning, you see the thought bubble. He intended, before he picked it up, he intended to get it for himself. Me, me, me. And then when he picked it up, it continued to be me, me, me. That's a ratio. Then, of course, you can say, I never had you in mind, Reuven. And therefore, the Metzias was, I picked it up for myself. The fact I kept quiet, I wanted to play a trick on you. I don't have to report to you. Who, who are you? Anyway, just because you're on the horse and I'm not, who do you think you are? And therefore, I'm just Zerche for myself. I thought to be Zerche for myself, and so I did. And I declare now, you know, this is thought and this is speech, right? You all know cartoons, yeah? So now, Mimele, now when I talk and I say, I picked it for myself, after the pickup point in the story, it's mine and finished. You may ask even what's the Kiddush. Oh, you're going to see it's a Kiddush. Seifa, Seifa. Im shenos naloi, oma anizachisi bo tchila. 
if after he gave him, at this point he gave him, see the word gave in English? Yeah? He gave it to him already. He went and very nobly gave it to the guy on the horse. And after it was in the hands of the horseman, then he said me, and he said it was mine, it was mine all the way from the beginning. I really meant it should be mine. Loy Omar Klum. At that point, there is no, no, not, nothing in his words. His words are worthless. Why? Because for one of two reasons. Either he really meant it, first of all, he kept quiet all the time and eventually gave it to him. So from his actions, it's mashma that he did comply and give it to the guy. So they're one of the two. Either l'chatchila, he meant to give it to the guy on the horse and now changed his mind. And now we say too late. Why is it in an X? X means it does not belong to him. It doesn't belong to him. It is called too late. Too late to change your mind. Yeah, too late in red letters. Because at that point, yeah, either you are. Thank you. Yes, it is. Yeah, too late. It's too late, Bechlal, to do what? To change your mind. So either you're lying and you stop saying things now, or even if you meant it for yourself, but now you gave it to him. Even, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Lemaisa, either you meant for him all the way from the beginning, or you meant for yourself, but then you gave it to him with no words. If somebody says, give it to me, and he goes with a big smile, he gives it to the guy and did not say otherwise, he can't reinterpret your words and replay the movie and say, really, my kavana was as if we're prophets. We don't say that. Really, my kavana was exactly the opposite from everything I did and said. You can't say that. We're not prophets. At Dvorim Shabalev, we said, Enem Dvorim, Mishpat. This is not Kabbalah class. And therefore, the Seifa is telling us, yeah, and that may be some kind of Chiddush, but not a big Chiddush, that in case that he sort of changes his mind and after the Nesina, then he says, really, really, I meant it all along for myself, then we say, uh-oh, it belongs to the guy on the horse. The red X means that it does not belong to the one who wants to claim that it is now. That's the Mishnah in short. However, there is a second way of reading the Mishnah, which we'll see later. By the way, this is the Reisha and this is the Seifa. The Reisha belongs to him, to the guy who picked it up. And the Seifa, too late for the guy who picked it up, he belongs to the guy on the horse, to Reuben the rider. Already questions? Okay, yeah. Welcome back, welcome back. True. It's true that Reuben didn't say. However, actions speak louder than words. If Reuben told him, pick it up for me, and Shimon picked it up for him and gave it to him, so he behaves 100% perfectly according to Reuben's uh, requirements, then uh, too late. Then he can't say afterwards, really... My kavana was. Ram Shabalev, Enam Dvorim. Maisav Mechichim, as you say in French, you know, actions speak louder than words. Your actions show that you are, yes, uh, uh, obeying him. So that's it. You can otherwise all transactions would be uh, would be null. Says the Gemara, and we've seen it before, we'll see it, see it again. Chazore, says the Gemara. Tnanosom, we learned over there, I made a broker before already. We learned over there in Peya. Mishalek it is a Peya. A person was melaket the peya. A person picked up peya, you know, the corner of the field that is left for the anim, the omal. Now this guy is a very benevolent guy. I'm picking it up not for myself. I'm picking it up for Mr. Oni. The poor man is an oni, sick with corona, can't leave home. He's quarantined and what? That's it. He's away and I'm doing it for him. Ah, it's beautiful chesed. Not so simple. Not so simple. Very moving, but not simple halachically. Blazer says, great guy, Zocholoi. What does Zocholoi mean? Yes, the guy in the house right now, as I pick the pair off the floor and I'm this uh, nice docker guy, right away belongs to who? To the guy in the house. I can appoint myself to be his, his coin, yeah, his purchaser, so to speak, on his behalf without him even knowing. I'm only gaining for him. Nah, the Chachomim, what do you mean? No. Chachomim say, hey, that ain't working. It's Nena Leoni and Imtsarishon. No. When you picked it up for the guy who is at home, sick at home, sounds like a very heart wrenching story. However, no, it doesn't work. Yeah. And the Kenyan you did for the guy in the house without his knowledge does not work. And therefore, who does it belong to? It belongs to the Anim, to the regular Shevet, it's not a Shevet, the regular public of Anim, to the Tzibur Anim. And therefore, whichever Oni you, you meet first, give it to the first Oni that comes your way. So we, it's a very easy to remember who says what. Rabbi Lezer says you can be Oizer, Rabbi Lezer, Ezra. Rabbi Lezer says you can help him. Chachomim say you don't help him. Yeah, it's not, no Ezra. Yeah, that's what they say. Is Are you asking about this? Wait, 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 wait. We, we didn't even start anything and then I'll hear you. 
Now we're going to have the Mechlokes Amoyroim that discusses the Mechlokes Tanoim. Omar Ula, Omar B'Shor Ben Levi, Ula comes and explains the Mechlokes the following way. Mechlokes Me'oshir Le'oni. The only Mechlokes between Rabbi Lezer and Chachomim are, is if the guy who picked up, the benevolent good guy, is a rich guy. Again, rich means he's not poor, Baruch Hashem, he has 200 zoos in his bank account, and he's, he's not, I would say not eligible, not eligible, right, to get the madness uh, uh, anim, me'oshir. so this guy's rich, which means hmm, he's not part of the club. He's not a card-holding member of the anim club, and he has no rights to pick up anything for himself. Oh, here comes trouble. So now, Rabeleza says he can still pick it up, although he's rich, and he's not part of the picking up in club, yeah? he still can give it to the Oni. Why? But that's not so simple. We have to go over a certain hurdle here. The Rabeleza, so the Rabeleza thinks, Migo, we say two Migos, since the Bay Moska Nachse, if he wanted to, Mr. Rich Guy, in one second could become poor without any crash, without any Ponzi scheme, he can become very poor upon his own will by doing what? Hefken, the richest guy in the world. I don't know if Bill Gates, if it works for Goy or not. He's not the richest, but the richer people, right? Whatever. Some some guy in the, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, or so I don't know. Yeah. The richest guy in the world can just say in front of three people, all my money is Hefker. Ha <laughs> In an instant, he becomes poor, willingly so. So the mice being rich or poor is in his hands, and he can become poor. The Havi Oni, he could potentially, it's true that I'm not a member in the club. But as I'm walking around the field looking for its docker for Anim, don't look at me like I'm a stranger, you other Anim. I am also potentially a member of your club, the Chazilei. And I could have really, Chazilei would be suitable for me to pick the Peah. Ashtanami, now too, Chazilei. Now too, I'm considered as somebody eligible for the docker. Now, it doesn't mean he can actually take it for himself, but it's suitable for him enough to go for the next stage, which means since potentially... I could have, would have, should have become an Oni. We are, by the way, can start with the word Oni. Pes Omud Beis, towards the bottom of the page, about 10 or so lines or the bottom of the page. Omigo de Zachil Oh, here comes the big line. Omigo de Zachil Enafshe, Zachin Amel Echavre. Because, oh, because I potentially can be part of the story and I could have picked it for myself. If I wanted to, you know what I could have done? You other Anim. You claim, hey, 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 hey. what are you doing in the field? Why are you taking for other people? This guy who's sleeping at home, let him come himself. You are causing us a loss. You by picking up, you think it's uh, Robin Hood, you know, you think you're Mother Teresa, you think you're picking up for the other guy, doing your favorite dream, causing us to lose, and you're not part of our group. You don't have rights to be in Bechlal, to pick up. Says the guy, no, says the Osher. First of all, in one second, I could become poor and pick it up for myself. And since, not since I can, since I could have, if I wanted to, I could have picked up for myself. I can also take for my friend because the Edson potentially I'm a card member holding of the group. Since I can take for myself, I can take for the other people as well who are not here right now. And then you couldn't shout at me. You make us lose. If I would have taken for myself, you'd keep quiet, right? So to keep quiet now, when I take it for somebody else, or oh, you stoning people, what do you care? Now, thank you for your patience. Rabbanon Savri, no. Rabbanon say, listen, listen, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Chad migo yamrinan. We believe you can say one migo. Tre migo lo yamrinan. Which means, we believe you can go over one hurdle with maybe. With maybe games of I could have, should have, would have. You can play it once. You can play the card once. You can't play it twice. Which means, to say I could have become poor, and therefore I'm like a poor, you could have said it in a different setting. But to join both, I could have been a poor guy. Plus, I could have been a poor guy that takes for myself, and therefore I'm taking now for my friend who's sleeping at home, yes, Adkan. We don't say the two migos together. Aval, however, he comes a crescendo. He comes the, mas- the mascon of Ula. He comes Ula's opinion. Me'oni le'oni divrei hakol zocholoi. If the guy was a real poor guy, one poor guy who picks up for another poor guy, everybody agrees, both of Lezer and even Chachomim agree, that you may be Zoycha for your other poor friend. If you're really holding the card of, you, know, you have a nice card, I'm an Oni, I can go, then you can also pick up, I don't mean it by the way, really. You, you can really pick up for the other Oni. Why? Listen to what we said before. The Migo, the Zachil Anafshe, Zachin Amelechavre. 
That means as follows. It's true that normally I cannot cause gain for my friend on the expense of other people losing. When when is that true? Remember I told you a few days ago, and we'll see it later in Toys Fest. That's when, excuse my bad English, none of my business. If, let's say, I want to help one guy, let's say Ruben owes money to Shimon Levi, you they suffer Zbulim Vechulei, Ruben owes money to many people, my name is Akiva, and I want to help uh, Levi. And I take the money from him, from Ruben, and it, I'm not part of the business. I'm just, you know, flying like Superman into the scene. None of my business. I'm not owed it. I don't owe. And what do I do? I take the money that 2,000 shekels that he owes to each one separately, and it's a competition, a race. Who's going to get it first? I pick it up from the guy who owes the money and I give it to Levi. Everybody else can scream at me and rightfully so and say, what are you doing? For Levi, you're not part of the story. Yeah, and Levi didn't even nominate you to become one, didn't appoint you. So you are very nice you're helping Levi, but you're an exterior factor here. And we, the other people, Shimon and Yehuda and Yisach and Zvulun, we're all losing. Then everybody agrees, or at least here everybody agrees, then we say, how can be Zoycha to X when you're making Y lose? That's because you're not part of the story. Who are you to interfere? Get out of here. Yeah, don't stick your nose in our business. You're causing us a loss when you're causing him, oh, yeah, yeah, a great hero. But Shein can over here. Everybody agrees. Both Rebelez and Chachomim agree that if the guy's the real Oni, and he's not picking for himself now, he's not. Proven the Oni is not taking for himself. He's taking for Shimon. Then, according to Ula, both Tanoim agree, one Oni can take for the other. Just like I could have taken for myself, and you'd all keep Shtum, and I would eat it myself. Everyone would say, okay, that's fair game. We're all in the race to the grains, to the barley, to the wheat. Reuven is a quick guy. As long as he doesn't take steroids, you know, it's okay. He picked it up and not us. So who cares? If Reuven, instead of giving it to himself, he was Zoyche on behalf of uh, Shlumi El Shlomazo, it's as, much, it's as good. That's the logic here. If I can take it for myself, I could have taken it for myself. I can take it for the other guy. So says Ula, according to Alta Noim. You get a, you get a good me this uh, card for being patient. And now I'm going to see the opinion of Rav Nachman. Yes, Borch. Borch is going to ask an amazingly good question. So, yeah, prophecy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm listening. Let me see. There are two extreme cases that so far everyone agrees to. When, uh, actually not everyone agrees to, that Ula believes in. When I walk down the street and I see a gold watch and I pick it up and I say, this is from a good friend, uh, Jeff, let's say. Yeah, and I mean, I'm like Jeff's hand. That works. Why? Because in the street, everybody, rich, poor, and anything in the middle, they're all parts of the all members of the club. Every Jew who walks in Tokyo, where everyone's going, and he sees a nice gold watch, and he's not interested in so much in Kiddush Hashem, he needs a gold watch, then what we all have the rights equally. It's real equal rights. I mean, mainly there, I can take it from a friend, according to Ula. Here, it's not simple. Here in the field, the guy who's rich has no rights to take it, which means I would say it's more like the guy who's interfering in the death story. In the debt, is just the other way around. I'm not part of the debt. I don't owe and I'm not owed. I'm starting interfering, interfering with my big nose in the middle. I stick my nose and I take the money from Baal Choyv in order to be Zorcha to Levi. Then for sure I cannot do that. It's a middle of the road case. That's what we need to Migo. We need the Migo for the rich guy to belong to the club. Once he belongs in the club, then according to Ula, we say, like in the street. They make him be like a regular Jew is finding a Metziah. The fact that he's potentially poor. But if he's not even potentially poor, then for sure he cannot do that. If you're not part of the club, you can't take it. You can't take it for yourself. For sure you can't take it for the other one. Okay? Another poor man? Yes. According to Ula. All the more so. That's for sure. All the more so. The bigger Kiddush is, not only can take for himself and for his friend, which we saw where? In the first Mishnah, right? When we want to cooperate and pick up the Talis together, one, two, three, we both have to think of the other one. And that works with the logic of since I'm Zorcha for myself, I am, not I would have. I am Zorcha for myself, therefore, I, of course, can take the other one, piggyback, ride, and be Zorcha. Here it's a bigger Kiddush. I'm not Zorcha for myself, nevertheless, yeah, nevertheless, I'm not Zorcha for myself, but since I could, right now, could be Zorcha for myself instead of myself. I'm using my card for my friend. Anybody has a, you know, a ticket here, a, a subscription to the, whatever you call it, to the swimming pool? 
So Abzer wanted, let's say every night they punch. You say, I'm giving my, my friend, instead, I'm not lying. Instead of me going to the pool to use the night, I'm going somewhere else. I'm giving it to my friend, Kosher Yosher. Instead of me, I could have used the pool today, absolutely legal. I'm giving it as a gift to my friend. And that's not even called cheating or playing games. That's basically what we're saying. Miga, I could have been there myself. I'm Zechah for my friend. Although that's not agreed by all, that's what Ula thinks right now. And that's one opinion, which I think is well, Allah. But yes, last question for this round and then we continue. Before we continue, before we continue, because the Gemara is going to say the opposite of what we think, the way I taught you the Mishnah, which is the real way, what did we say? He originally, Shimon Shmate, who's there, picked it up for who? For Reuven. Yeah? No, sorry. He picked it up for himself. And he says, I want to be picking it up for myself. Ha, 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 ha. Reuven and Ryder thinks I'm picking it for him. I picked it for myself. And right after picking up, I said, it's for me, not for you. It's for him. Mashma, mashma. That if en chinami, I picked it for him, like in the Seifa, if en chinami, I gave it to him, right? And then originally we assume my thought was, I'm Zoiche in the Metzi and the gold watch, not for myself, but for Reuven the Rider. Then it does belong to Reuven the Rider, right? The Chor, the Mishnah seems to support Ula that, yeah, in case where he, had, where he has all his rights and thoughts, the thoughts and speech and everything, yes, connected to the Heilu Reuven and Chinami. Reuven would be Zoiche with Shimon picking up. So it's good. Oh, the Gemara now is learning the Mishnah in a different way. Now the Gemara is actually going to challenge what we said from the Mishnah because now Rav Nachman has a different way to learn the Mishnah. We'll soon go back to our way, which is the right, I mean the right way of saying, which is Ula's way. Now let's see how Rav Nachman learns the entire story differently. Says the Gemara, Omal Rav Nachman Ula, is everybody with me? Velema. Line starts with Velema, which is about five lines from the bottom of the page. Rav Metziah Tezbes. Omal Rav Nachman Ula, Rav Nachman challenges Ula and says, I would prefer if you'd say I would say no. I'd rather if you said that Rav Leza and Chachomim even argue about one poor guy being Zoyche for the other poor guy. Wow. Which means I would prefer if you said that Chachomim think that even a regular poor guy cannot not, 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 not cannot be Zoyche for another poor guy. I want you to say, I'd like you to interpret the Mechlokes Tanoim, that Chachamim, even in case of a one only to the other, they believe me, they do not believe in Mitoch. See this? Loi Zachin Chavri. Rav Nachman believes that we do not say, since I could be Zachin to myself, I can be Zachin to my friend. No. Why? You want to go to the swimming pool? You go yourself. You don't have the right to bring it to other people. Yeah, he believes that, yeah, the Zoyche that makes other people lose, still makes them lose, even though he has the right and he could have. We don't believe in could have. If you zoiche for yourself, and by the way, also to your friends, like Ellen was saying, is good. But if you only zoiche for him, that's still called chav lachrini. It's called that you lose in causing other people to lose. Why would he prefer to say that? Why does Rav Nachman prefer, if we interpreted the Mishnah, Chachomim and the Mishnah in Peya, that one is not zoiche to his friend? Why is that? Because he says, look at our Mishnah, Deho, because Metzia, the case of Metzia is Baruch. That's what I just told Baruch. Metzia, hakol anim etzlo. See the words. By Metzia, everyone is like poor. What does that mean? Just like by the Leket Chikhopea, who has free entrance to the field when it's not Shmita, it can partake from Leket Chikhopea. Can Bill Gates go? Can Elon Musk go? Can Avram Tshuva go? No. They can go. Very rich people. Can, uh, I don't know, uh, Dunkner? Can they go to the field? Can go. Even you and I cannot go to the field. Baruch Hashem. Who can go to the field? Only Anim. But you know what? By Metzia, everyone is like the poor person, right? But the Metzia, poor and rich are alike. If it's a Metzia, they don't have to give back to Yamamutu Chatatushu. And what? I can pick up myself. Everyone has the rights, which means, ah, that's a good litmus test to look at our Mishnah that spoke about Metzia and see if the Mishnah believes or does not believe in and look what it says in the Mishnah, it says in the Mishnah, he was riding on the Behema, Reuven, let's say, he saw the Metzia, lying on the street, a beautiful thing, and told his friend, Nali, give it to me, the Tolo. Now, Shimon picked it up, the Omar, I got it, ha, 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 I got it, and not you, Zachobo, he won it, he got it, it's his, his whose? 
the one who picked it up and not the one who sent him, not the one who's on the, on the big horse over there. Now, Rashi says, now you have to see this. Says Rashi, the way of, Shim, the way of Nachman understood the mission is as follows. Says the guy, says Shimon, the picking upper, Shimon the says, I really had you in mind at the beginning. When I picked up, at the moment of picking up, really, I thought of you, and I had Kavano, the Shem Yichid Kuchabrichu, I'm picking it up for Reuven the Rider. Afterwards, I changed my mind. See the word change? Changed my mind, change of heart. And then I decided, no, you know what? It's actually for me. Does that work? The Chayra, if you say Zochin, it doesn't work. If you say that when you think of your friend, it really already belongs to your friend, yeah, I'm warning you from a mistake, yeah? If we say that by picking up you are Zochin to your friend, so now it belongs to him. It belongs to, to, to Reuven on the horse. You can't change your mind and say, no, it's actually mine. You're five years old. You can't change your mind now. It already belongs to him. Elamai, if we say can change his mind, that means, you know what it means? It means that our Mishnah believes that if I pick up for my friend, it, it's not, it is not his. Ah, really we believe like me, says Rav Nachman. We believe that since he could be, he could have been, should have been, would have been, he's Zerche to himself, but he was not Zerche to himself. Mimela, he's not Zerche for his friend. Mimela can change his mind because the original Kenyan was a non starter, was nonsense, was Shtuyot. That's how Nachman learns the Mishnah. Mimela of Nachman is now attacking Ula. Mimela says, Rav Nachman, the Mishnah is not for you, it's against you. And let's see how he asks it. If you tell me that is between Rablaz and Rabbanon is even by one poor guy to the other, which means it's a much wider Machloikes about can one person be Zorcha to the other when both have the right? And who believes that it doesn't work? Then our Mishnah is Rabbanon. Our Mishnah follows very well Rabbanon. Rabbanon are the ones who, according to Rav Nachman, say what? They say we never believe in Zochin, the Odom. That what we don't believe Migo that could have the Hoyo Yicholiskas Latzmai Zochi Lachavera. We don't believe in it. By the way, Rashi says something very nice here, which gets us back to what Ellen just said a few minutes ago. The first Mishnah told me what both sides pick up the Talis, remember? And there at the very end of the first Mishnah, we said they can both be Zochi together. And I was like, well, oh, what's the Chiddush? The Chiddush is that if I only pick up half and you only pick up half, nobody is Zochi. So we say we both had in mind that since. I am Zoycha to myself, not I could have. Since I really want that half for myself, I'm also Zoycha for my friend. Since not I could have, since I am Zoycha, I can also take him the piggyback, a piggy ride, and also get to him. That's the first Mishnah. And the second Mishnah tells me, but if you want to be a saint, a tzaddik, and not be Zoycha to yourself, and only for your friend, you have no rights. Everybody else in the street can, can, uh, can uh, verbally uh, attack you, and say, hey, no, 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 no. You have no right to be a malach on our cheshben. If you zoche for yourself, good. You could be zoche to yourself, not good enough for us. And that's how Ula believes is what Rabbanon say, also in the case of Peah and also over here. But if we say, like you, that the machlokes is by Oshir, the Oni, if you want to say the machlokes is only with the two migos, Aval me Oni Loni Divrei Hakol Zocholoi. The way you Ula learns, everybody, both Rabbeinu and Rabbonon, believe that one Oni can be Zoycher for the other, even though he himself is not Zoycher right now. Mekitzer believes in Zoycher Lodem Shaloi Befonov, because if I could have done it for myself, I'm Zoycher for my friend. I'm not going tonight to the swimming pool, and instead of me, I'm bringing a friend instead of me, because I could have gone there for my subscription. If you say everyone believes in that, how many? Then who follows our Mishnah? The way Rav Nachman read the Mishnah, the Mishnah is an orphaned Mishnah. The Mishnah is no author. Loi Rabbanon, lo Not Rabbanon, not Rabbanon. Again, because how did Rav Nachman learn the Mishnah? Rav Nachman learned the Mishnah that originally the guy wanted it for himself when he picked up, and then he changed his mind, and the change of mind works. To say a change of mind works means that the original picking up for you, you, the guy on the horse, didn't work. Oh, so that's exactly the way I think is what Rabbanon say, we don't say Zochin, we don't say Migu de Zochin Lenafshe, Zochin Amel Chavrei. That's what Rav Nachman says, that's how he learns the Mishnah, and that's why he challenges Ula.
Omar, quick question. I'm not so hot on questions now, but a quick one. Yeah. Okay. Says the Gemara, Omar Lay says, Ula to Rav Nachman, as we already said before, Masnisin the Omar Tchila. One word, Tchila, very good. As we read before, you misreading the Mishnah of Nachman, says Ula. In the Mishnah, right from the start, he said, when I picked it up, I had me, 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 and only me, I'm a selfish guy. I meant it for myself. That's what I'm saying now, me, I'm saying that when I picked it up already, then I thought of myself only. Very good. Then Avada, in that case, <laughs> it belongs to, to, to Shimon because he never had Reuben in mind. But Enochinami, if Reuben, if Shimon has Reuben in mind, then Enochinami, Reuben is the owner, like my opinion, and one can be Zerich to his friend, says Ula. That's a very easy answer. However, he feels uh, uh, the need now to prove his point from the reading of the Mishnah. It also makes sense to read the Mishnah, like I said, that what? That his original idea, when he picked up the item, already then he thought of himself and never changed his mind. I meant me, me, me right from the start. And I expressed my opinion right after picking up, before I gave it to you on your big, high, fancy horse. And it makes sense to read the Mishnah that way. Why? Look at the Sefer. This is the Sefer. Maybe I should make it to clear the economy. This is the Sefer. The Sefer is, yeah, the Sefer says if after he gave it to him, then he said belongs to me, everyone agrees that Avada, uh, then it's too late. The red X means that no, it does not belong to me, to Shimon. It belongs to Reuven because you gave it to Reuven and you showed the my Sefer that you are giving it to Reuven. I can't change your mind. Now, there is one magic word that appears in the Seifa, the Ktani Seifa, it says in the Seifa, if after he gave him, like I wrote in the chart, if after giving him Omar, he said, Ah, listen to that. He says, if he said, I was Zorchen it first, 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 whatever first means, then his words are null, nothing. Yeah, even if you said, I, I wanted to get it first before something else happened, Loi Maklum. Says Gemara, Tchila Besefa Lamali. Why do you have to talk about Tchila in the Sefa? Shita, of course, yeah. I forgot the Lomer Tchila, Tchila Omar. Even if he didn't say first, it's as if he said first, which means like this. Let's say the guy says, listen to this, uh, to this bizarre case. Let's say the guy said, you know, I'm giving it to you now. And after I give it to you, <laughs> after it's in your hand, now I'm changing my mind. That's shtiot. That's, excuse me, uh, that, that, that's, you have to be less than kit aleph. <laughs> Avada, to say, after it's your ownership, Avada, now I'm changing my mind. You know, you bought this shirt uh, two years ago, I'm changing my mind. It really belongs to me. Nonsense, right? Elamai must be the tchila. So tchila, regarding the last case, is a very redundant word. Ah, so why did the Mishnah insert the word tchila at the beginning of the Seifa? Elalav must be a kamash malan reisha. The Omar Tchila must be the Seifa is revealing on the reisha. Many times Mishnais are homogeneous, are you know symmetrical, and the Seifa tells us what the reisha means to say. Yeah, which means reisha the Omar Tchila, which is which means like this. Just like the word Tchila appears in the Seifa, and that's redundant because of course it means before I gave it to you. So too in the reisha. He meant tchila, ah, which means I'm not changing my mind now. Not like you, Rav Nachman. I'm changing my mind, and now I'm pointing it after it's in my hand. But this, look, this is tchila. Tchila, tchila. At the beginning, when I picked it up, already right from Bereshit's Bore Eloikin, the story started. When I picked it up, it was for myself. That's why tchila is in the story. And in Achinami, but if he picked it up for his friend, who, this is Ula talking, if he picked it up for his friend, then he would work. Yes, he would have worked. And he could not be, he would not be able to change his mind. Because according to Ula, we do say Zochin, right? And therefore, the only reason the Mishnah, it's me, 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 because he never thought of Reuven. But had he thought of Reuven, of course he would have been Reuven's. And you can't change your mind, says Ula. Now, Ve'idach, what would Rav Nachman say? How can Rav Nachman explain the Mishnah? Because what did Rav Nachman say? 
Nachman says, Loi, right? Rav Nachman says, Loi Zoch Lechabri. Rav Nachman says, if you pick it up for yourself, it's yours, right? Mimele, if you pick it up for him, yeah, for, 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 uh, for the friend, and then you change your mind, yeah, you can. Because the picking up for your friend is, is futile, is nothing, is, is, is nonsense. I how to explain the Mishnah? It says the other way. Tana Seifa Liglu Reisha. Yes, it's true that the Seifa is coming to teach me something about the Reisha, the extra word Tchila of the Reisha, but just the opposite. Seifa de Omar Tchila. Reisha de Loi Omar Tchila. <laughs> the Mishnah is not consistent and homogenic. The Mishnah is Fakert. Is the Seifa comes to contrast the Reisha in the Seifa. You have to, even though you said at the beginning, meaning before I handed it to you, I had kavana to be zoicha myself too late. Since you gave it to him, you can't tell us about your previous thoughts. That's too late. We don't care about what you thought before. As opposed to the reisha, yes, and I do care. If in the reisha you said, you know what, I'm changing my mind. I really had you in mind, but you know, that's a kind of cool watch. Oh, I didn't realize it's a uh, Piaget. I don't know these watches, yeah? I didn't realize that a couple of thousand dollars. I really want it for myself. And it works. How can change of mind works? You know how it can work? Because Lechatchila, when I picked it up for you, it never worked. Because we're in Rav Nachman world. In Rav Nachman's world, if I pick up for my friend, it's not his. It's state Hefker. It's still Hefker. It's still Hefker. In Mela now, I can pick it up for myself and change my mind. That's Rav Nachman. Ah, it says Tchila, Fakir. Tchila means in the Sefer, it's Tchila. In the Resha, it's not Tchila. In the Resha, I changed my mind for Tchila to Soiv. And Mimela, because picking up from a friend doesn't work, Mimela, if I did employ that kind of halacha, this halacha doesn't exist. Mimela, of course, I can change my mind. That, so, Lamai said the two readings of the mission exist. As far as an halacha is Lakula, and that's a more classical way of reading the mission. That's what Rashi explains also in the Mishnah. But this is Rav Nachman's reading. I'm now open for questions for a few minutes. We open the gates of North Korea for a little bit. Yeah, that's so nice. Biter. Of Nachman of Chizda. Now we come to the final, the final uh, verdict. Damit Ovayu. They both said, unsurprisingly, it's Rav Nachman, aided by Rav Chizda. He says, as we expected, you would say, right? Abedil now didn't say it outright. He only attacked Ula. Now he's, you know, out of the shell. Now he declares, that's my opinion. I'm saying. If you kind of for your friend and not for yourself, Alan, only for your friend, and right now the picking up is only for him, I'm like his long arm, I'm self-appointed shliach, no, the friend is not koine. Why? It's hefker. It belongs to nobody. My time, why? I do compare it, says Rav Nachman, unlike others. I compare it to a person who's doifes, who catches, who seizes the money owed to five potential people, and I grab it in order to be zeched to one of the people, I'm his uh, attor attorney without him appointing me. I'm a self-appointed attorney. It doesn't work. If I'm tefes to Reuven on the expense of poor Shimon, you're good to one, but you're bad to the other. You have no right to do that. Loikono is not going to... Yeah? And now, by the way, again, everyone agrees to the case of debt. In the case of Metzia, not everyone agrees. Why? Because in the case of Metzia, what would Ula say? He says, no, it's not the same. By the debt, I have nothing to do with the debt. But the Metzia, I'm also potential Moitze. I can also gain it for myself. Email, I'm, I'm part of the story. Rav Nachman says, you're not enough part of the story just because you could have got for yourself is not good enough. And you're not Zecher for your friend. Ace Rav Nachman. Rav questions Rav Nachman with the following question, with the following, uh, I think it's a Mishnah. Metzia, or Bryce, I haven't seen it inside. Metzia spoil le'atzmoi. A person rented a poil, a worker. The poil, a worker, get a nice Jewish boy. Ben as money, your board stiff. Come, I'll pay you 100 shekels. And you work for me today in all kinds of odd jobs. Do the work for me. And the poil, that 16 years old boy, he found a gold watch. He found all of a sudden something. Le'atzmoi, the poil now owns the Metzia. The poil, although he works for me all day long, but he's not mamish my yada arichta. He's not my kilu shaliach. And the metzia belongs to him. Look what Rashi says. Unbelievable. Look at the work etiquette of the toilet, not the goyim. Says Rashi, the time it took him to pick up the gold watch, he'll have to now deduct that from the salary. Wow. 
so makpid. You know, even Shmones and Krishna, the whole mission over there in Brochus, you barely say Tila when in the middle of work. That's real values, not the Goish uh, being nice, yeah? The Torah is so makpid that the person working should be loyal and honest with the employer. So Bekitsa, but Levi said the gold watch belongs to him. It took him maybe, I don't know, two minutes to pick it up and I don't know, dig it out. So those two minutes, he has to, you know, take off the salary. Okay, the med boom moving. When is that true? We're now minimizing, qualifying what we're saying. This mancha omalo balabais, it's only true that what? That the found object belongs to the poil is only true if the balabais told him, Nakish imiyayoim, ador imiyayoim. If he told him, I want to employ you for specific works, let's say in the garden. Nakish, I want you to weed, to weed out the bad weeds, to be to weed or adore, do some plowing with me, yes, yeah, some raking with me, whatever. Then, in other words, if I am a gardener and I'm employed, I'm the 16 years old, I'm employed for one specific job, I'm a gardener. There's no right to tell me now to cook him, to fry him an egg or to look after his baby. I'm employed for one thing, so I'm only there for what? I'm not his general jobnik for everything. I'm only there for gardening. Mimela, I'm not his evid. And Mimela, if I pick up the material, it's for me. Aval, but. Let's say you employ the boy today to do anything you want with him. You babysit my baby, you fry an egg, you paint my wall, you, I don't know, you give me a haircut, the badly needed haircut. Today I employ you to do all kinds of odd jobs for me, which means you're like, like an avid, not avid for six years, not mamish, but you get the point. You're a general worker, which is mean more possession of me. Because I can tell you to do anything as long as it's within halacha, and of course not to abuse him. I'm saying any kind of normal job I can ask him to do. Then mitziyotsu shel balabaisu. How? Then the mitziyah belongs to balabais. How could it be that the poil finds a mitziyah? He picks up the mitziyah, and the gold watch in that case belongs to balabais. Hey, why? According to you, Rav Nachman, the poil is zorcha for the balabais on the expense of fifty hundred. Uh, of 50 other people in the street who want the gold watch, right? So uh, it's not like you, you're saying. You're saying the Reuben cannot be Zorcha for Shimon. So how can the Poyal be Zorcha for his master? Good. He doesn't care. Rav Nachman doesn't care if everyone's in the same league. Rav Nachman says even if everybody's in the same league in the, in the, in the club, in the card holding place, still one cannot be Zorcha only for his friend. No. According to Rav Nachman, he cannot give Tuesday night swimming pool Men only, and you have a punch in the card, you cannot give it to your friend according to Ravnachman. Omer very nice, 10 points to, 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 uh, to Baruch. Omer Shani Poyel, the Poyel is different. The Yoda Kiat Valabaisu, a Poyel is not a regular Joshmo. Stamp Joshmo to be Zoyche for Yoske Poshke, that's a different thing. One has nothing to do with the other. Who are you to interfere? But a Poyel, a poil really is like the long stretched arm of his balabais. Mimele can be zoiche because it's as if balabais himself is here. The poil is automatically such a general worker to do whatever the balim wants. Mimele, the poil, can always work on behalf of the balabais. It's like the balabais himself is here. He represents the balabais. He has a tag. No, the balabais is called uh, ba fancybalabas.com. <laughs> I wear the tag and I wear the card. I work for fancybalabas.com. I'm part of the company. Yeah, look in, the, look in companies. When one worker of the company does something for the company, it's the company who did it, right? He pressed the button in the stock market. It's them. It's the company. It's not the uh, Moishale. So, to me, mail in this case, of course, it's Zoycha. But strangers, one guy was nothing to do the other. Zoycha on the expense of others, that does not work, says Rav Nachman. Frank Digmar, is that so? Are you sure? That the poil is so subjugated to his owner? Is that so? The poil is like one and you know, one together with the balabais. The Omar Rav, Rav says, Poil Yocho Lachzo boy, a fil bachatsiayoim. As we saw in Babakama, let's say poil in the middle of the day feels that he's not being uh, uh, treated fairly or whatever. So for other reasons, the poil can regret and actually quit. Quit in the middle of the day. Oh, half my house is not painted. It's a poil. We're not talking about cobble and other things. A poil gets paid, let's say, per hour. Can actually quit in the middle of the day. So you see, the fact he can quit in the middle of the day, the house is half painted, the egg is half fried, 
the baby is half screaming and my hair is half cut and he can leave in the middle of all that. Sounds like a comedy. He's allowed to. Doesn't that reflect on the fact that right from the start, he was never really my slave? He was never really Yad Achas to, together with me? Omer Lein, no, 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 no. Don't attack me from there. It's one, one, don't mix one with the other. Let's say the poet was supposed to be with me till seven o'clock in the evening. One o'clock, he says, I've had enough with your uh, nonsense. I'm leaving. Since he can leave, he can leave for another reason. Up until the point that he left, he does belong to me, not like an Evid Knaini, but any action he does is like my action. And therefore, picking up the gold watch, as long as he worked with me, he was Kimat completely mine, and his picking up the watch was my picking up the watch. I so I can quit in the middle of the day? That's for another reason, says the Gemara. You're asking how can he quit in the middle without any letter in advance, you know, like in the work world, you have to give a letter 30 days in advance or something like that, yeah, that's time Achrino, that's a different reason, don't mix the reasons, the Khtib, it says Kili Bnei Sol Avodim Bnei Sol are my slaves, says the Eibishte, Avodehem they're my Avodim, Beloy Avodim La Avodim, you should know, even if you have an employer, as you're never a slave of your employer you can always quit in the middle of the day because you're not an avid of anybody but that's only because what? That's only because, really, that cause of animal vodim, you can quit in the middle. That's the only ramification of that. But as long as you worked for the guy and he told you, listen, today you are mine for all kinds of menial jobs, for painting and cooking and uh, looking and doing and computer programming, whatever. And he also picked up the metzia. He's so generally so-called owned by the owner the picking up the Metsiya is like the owner himself. That, in that respect, yes, the fact he can live in the middle, that's a separate story. He can live in the middle because he's not a subjugated effort forever, not even till the end of the day, if he does feel comfortable. Of course, there are conditions. They're also not learning this now. It appears later on in the Masechta. Here he comes with another opinion. Oh, Rabbi Yochanan argues on Rav Nachman, and what does Rabbi Yochanan say? As far as I know, that's the halacha. I'm going to check it today, Bli Neder. Does, which means what? I'm walking down the street. Let's summarize. Let's summarize. Walking down the street, there are 50 other kosher yidalach, all in Denizmanim, a little bit bored, and we all like gold watches. But I happen to go to the gym twice a week. <laughs> uh, big muscles. And I grab the watch before anybody else. I didn't touch anybody else. I'm not a violent guy. I picked up the gold watch. Everyone's like, okay. yeah. Now, if I picked it up for myself, Avada, that's a fair game. That's a race, yeah? Now, what happened if I picked it up and I say, guys, you know, I picked it up for who? For not even my wife, which is other Cuban people told me, I'm picking it up for a nice guy over here. Oh, just came back, you know, the peanut gallery. I picked it up for the peanut gallery, for Yaakov, and everyone's going to scream at me and say, what? Ah, Yaakov's not here. Well, you're being a static. For, an, for Yaakov, the expense of others, Rav Nachman sides with them. Rav Yochanan, which is Allah, sides with me. And I say, no, just like I could have picked it up for myself and have every right in the world to pick it up and say, I have a gold watch. Now I'm a nice guy. And lechatchila, yeah, when I picked it up, I had my mind only Yaakov, 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 Yaakov. And I picked it up for Yaakov only. I have every right in the world to be Yaakov's non-appointed shliach. And pick it up for him, says Rabbi Yechonon. As far as I know, Okay, now, the Im Toim Ar Mishnah Seini. If you want to claim our Mishnah is against what we said, I don't have Koyach again. <laughs> but remember, the second reading of the Mishnah denoted Loi. Remember? It was a way of reading the Mishnah that says that really, Magdim et Sachar Loi Kona Chavero. Rabbi Yechonon has another unique answer. They would deal with both readings of the Mishnah. Listen to this. He says, the Omar Tnali. I told you that at the beginning on Thursday. If you read carefully the Mishnah, the guy on the horse was foolish, was uh, uninformed. I'm not saying the, the bad word, yeah? The guy on the horse, what did he say? Give it to me. What does give it to me say? It's a very Balabatish word, give it to me. He should have said, what does that mean? The reason why you're not to the guy on the horse, let's say you don't. 
Let's say even like Rav Nachman. Nagid, let's read the Mishnah of Nachman that he wasn't Zoyche. Nagid, you know why? Because foolishly, the guy on the horse said, give it to me. What does giving mean? It's a physical thing. It's not a halachic thing. He talks like, a, like an Amaris. If he said Zcheli, what does Zcheli mean? Acquire. If he says, I want you, Shimon, to pick up and have in mind to acquire it for me, then Shimon would have acquired, acquired it to him. But Reuven, the rider, foolishly said, give me. Give me means what? Only when it's in my hands, then I'm Zoycher. When you physically give it to me. <laughs> Shimon basically ran the race quicker, took over, and before he gave it to him, was Zoycher for himself. <laughs> he said, give me physically. Before the physical handing over to Reuven, Shimon did one up, basically jumped over, took over, and says, it's mine. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah? What? And it's actually exactly at that point. Beautiful. That's why. Tomorrow we meet the whole week. I hope to have the Shur Emirates Hashem. And also, Tzvi will stay here the entire week. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Sheikh is coming today. Yes.